back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Taylor and I am a neutral style blogger over on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram here so you guys can go ahead and follow. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. I typically do vlogs, but I'm trying to expand and explore. So I hope you guys enjoy this try on haul with H&M and Zara. Okay, so the first item we're gonna talk about is this H&M jumpsuit. It's short sleeve, cargo style, has like a little tie at the waist and it's very comfortable. I feel like this is gonna be like the spring matching set type of look that we had in the in the winter with like the matching bottoms in the top. This is just as simple to throw on, very easy. I styled it today with a long white sleeve turtleneck. Um, I felt like it gave it a little bit more personality, so that's how I'm styling it today. I didn't style like, it like that in a try-on, just so you guys could get a full kind of glimpse at what it actually looks like. I wanted to do the try-on portion with no shoes um, so that you guys could see how things actually fell on me, how long the legs were, and what the fit really looks like. I feel like if I put heels on or sneakers, it would kind of distort that, so I'm giving you guys the real live try-on. But yeah, this was honestly very affordable. I bought it when it wasn't on sale for I think $40, and it's now on sale for $20. So the next piece is this cropped white vest it is the knit material and it has a little v-neck it's kind of like a take on the first vest i think i wore it back in september last year i'll put a picture here and it's like that one was longer now they have the little crop version which is so cute for spring again you can wear it with a long sleeve turtleneck underneath it to transition from winter to spring and then once the summer hits this would be really cute with a pair of trousers tucked in i think it's a very cute little vibe next we have this very chic cropped leather blazer you guys have seen leather blazers all year long it's been like the oversized long blazer and now we're going into more of like the cropped kind of fitted blazer look this would actually look really cute with a leather like a whole leather look so like leather trousers with this blazer maybe a little bralette i think that's a really cute look but this fits nice I do wish it was a little bit more cropped on me and a little bit more fitted I got this small um, so if I had to change anything I probably would have just gotten an extra small but I tried for the purpose of the try on haul to get things in my actual size so I'm a typical by book size small so I decided to get everything in that okay next from H&M we have this trench coat this is now my third trench coat that I own. I had four, I gave one away. Now we're introducing another one. I love this one because of this top kind of layer right here. It's also a flare trench coat, so it naturally has like the little A-line shape, which is really nice. You can adjust the sleeves here to make them a little bit tighter to give that almost like balloon sleeve look. And yeah, the color is perfect. Length is perfect. Oversizedness is perfect. So I'm really excited to rock this this spring. First pair of pants from H&M are these leather, faux leather cream trousers. These are amazing. I don't own any cream trousers right now. I used to have some, I think from Pretty Little Thing, but they didn't fit me right. And I just love the way at the top, it looks like regular jeans. They're straight leg, a little short on me. I wish that H&M had like the whole short, regular, long type of thing, because I would definitely get these in the long but I got them in a size two. They do fit like perfect, um, fit amazing on the waist. I love H&M for pants because I know that I'm a, a true size two there. Everything I get from there, pants wise, fits me perfectly. The next pair of pants are these. They look kind of rust in person, but well, they do kind of on camera too. I feel like on the try on, if they look a little bit more brown, they definitely are a mixture of like a burnt orange and brown. They're very nice fit. I have them in the tan color too. Of course, I got a size two. Um, the fit is amazing around the waist. I love the length of it on these specific jeans. Um, yeah, they're like a mom fit. Super cute, fit perfectly. Again, I never have any problem with H&M pants at all. Now we're gonna move on to Zara. With Zara, we will start with the tops. The first top I got was just a basic, um, polo long sleeve. It's a little bit oversized. I feel like this would be really cute with just a pair of jeans, sneakers, a shoulder bag, some jewelry. It's very simple. Um, I feel like I'm always looking in my drawers for something like this and now I have it. So very perfect. Next we have 
a lightweight sweater. Actually, I lied, it's not that light. Eh, it's kind of lightweight. I think it's perfect. It's like a little oversized crop sweater. It's very slouchy, bohemian vibes. This with a pair of trousers would be amazing. Also a pair of jean shorts once it gets warmer out. Also, I feel like this would be really cute over a bikini. Am I crazy? I don't know, but it was $39.90. I got a size small. Honestly, I'd go crazy and get a size medium because I love how, like envisioning how it would look oversized and I think that that would be the move. So still a really cute fit. I don't regret it. I think I'll definitely get some wear out of it. So it's a good staple to add to my closet. Next, we actually have a dress from Zara and this was actually on the thumbnail for this video. Um, was one of my favorites. I think that the slit in it is absolutely stunning. However, I didn't buy it to wear it formally. I mean, we're still in COVID season. I don't think anyone's going anywhere formally unless they really have to, um, which I don't need to. So I was actually planning to wear this very casually. So I was hoping to do, I have it somewhere. I was hoping to do this with a little leather jacket and white sneakers, cute little crossbody. And it's a cute like dress to, I don't know, head to Boston, walk around. Next from Zara, we have another jumpsuit. This one is a little bit more like laid back. The texture is like 100% cotton, so it's not as structured as this one is, but still very cute. Has a little tie around the waist. Um, the legs, of course, like everything at Zara, are super long, but once you tie the waist, you can kind of bunch it enough so that it brings up the legs a little bit for you. Has a zipper instead of buttons like this one has and very breathable like i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like that almost like towel material inside um and it has like that worn look another basic from zara is this cropped white ribbed long sleeve these are perfect for the spring guys i'm telling you i think i told you guys in another video that my uniform for spring is going to be trousers and a plain top like that's the simplest cutest most, most chic and timeless kind of style and look for the spring. Wow, that was like a tongue twister. Okay, now moving on to the trousers from Zara. So, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I always have a really hard time with Zara pants because the fit is not real. Like, if I were to get a size four, they would fit perfectly on my hips and my legs, but they would be huge on my waist, okay? If I were to get a size two, they would fit perfectly on my waist, but they would be extremely tight on like my hip area, so I wouldn't be able to zipper it. But they would buckle perfectly snug, but I wouldn't be able to zipper it. So I always have a hard time with that. So I usually stick with trousers and leggings with Zara, and I don't get any of their jeans or anything like that. So with these trousers, I had a little bit of a hard time um, I was going to get a small and I'm glad I didn't. I ended up getting the extra small. I ended up getting the extra small, but I don't know if you can tell on the try on, they're still about an inch too big on the waist. I'm thinking of getting them tailored because I feel like it's worth it because the quality of these pants are so amazing, but they fit amazing on the leg. They're great length. Um, I love the black detailing with the button. Love that it has like the belt loops. This white one doesn't have pockets, but I still feel like they're very cute, chic, and I can still dress them down to be super casual. Now, then I got the same kind of pair. This one also has the black button as a detail, also has the belt loops, but this one has real pockets and real back pockets. They're a little bit longer, but I don't mind that at all. I think it'll still look cute with some white Air Forces, some black booties. Um, the color, again, on this one is very different than it looked like online. I'll post a picture here of what it looked like online and then they came and they're kind of pinkish taupey color when they were supposed to be almost like a chocolate brown color. So that's something to look out for. I also got these ones in an extra small. Okay, last but not least, we got these really cute legging-like black pants. Also got these in an extra small. Again, they're still big on the waist, which is a little bit weird because you can't go to an extra extra small, but not a problem. On the bottom of these though, it does have a zipper so you can open it up and it has like that little split hem detailing which is really cute but if you don't want that you can always zip it back up thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video all links will be in the description box below even if they're sold out i'll try to get some links for you i hope you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one